WJBF sports coverage you can count on. Hagen's Taylor Widener has dreamed of playing in the major leagues since Little League. The journey has taken him from South Aiken High School to the University of South Carolina onto the minor leagues, and this season, the chance to make his major league debut with the Arizona Diamondbacks. The only thing that would have made it better is having his parents there to see it. We would have absolutely been on the plane <laughs> to get there if all this mess wasn't going on. But. Billy and Elizabeth Widener have traveled all over the country to watch their son play baseball, from youth travel teams to minor league teams in cities like Reno and Tampa. But because of the pandemic, they couldn't be in Arizona for Taylor's big league debut on July 25th against the Padres. There's the fastball. Taylor Widener gets his... Oh, yeah, I know it's absolutely killing them. I mean, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. and. They've devoted their life just as much as I have to the game, so it sucks that they weren't be able to be here, but we'll, uh, hopefully there'll be more opportunities for them to come later on. Watching their son's big moment from their living room in Aiken, 1,700 miles away, was still emotional. If I had hair, it would have made hair on the back of my neck stand up, <laughs> but it, 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 it was exciting. I mean, it's, it's something the, the boys work his tail off his whole life. For, and, and he finally achieved it. So it, it's not a greater feeling to see a child out doing that. Besides not having his biggest fans at the game, Taylor also had to adjust to not having any fans at all. I just I tried to look at it as much like a real game as possible, just to keep the same intensity. And obviously I was excited with it being my debut and all. We had to stay home, watch it on TV, and he called us uh, as soon as the game was over with. So we got to speak to him after his, his debut. So then we cried yeah. again. <laughs> yep, we did. He has the ball from his first strikeout and a few other things from his big league debut. Yeah, I got that, the uh, first pitch and the uh, scorecard as well. Taylor did consider an alternate way to have his parents be there. A lot of his uh, teammates were ribbing him about getting cardboard pictures of us and sending it out there so we could see, see his debut. But. <laughs> That didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't able to get those made right away. Wish they would have been able to be here for real, but, you know, with everything going on. And when fans are allowed back, you can bet the Wideners won't waste any time booking a plane ticket. The first one we can book will be there. In Aiken, Brendan Robertson, WJBF News Channel 6.